comrades, Kamisar Bro here with part two of Yon China. Let's play thingy. Making history go. Come the storm, all that goodness. <laughs> so that was a completely befuddled name, like it's the complete opposite of what it should be. <laughs> anyway. Um so yes, we are playing as Yan China. We are doing pretty well for ourselves. We are currently industrializing. Um, our economy is basically in a major recession because of our extreme um, industrialization processes that we're currently engaged in. And uh, World War One is in full, you know, full turn pretty much. It's it's going, man. It is going. And uh, France is beating the ever-loving tar out of Germany, as in they've pretty much annihilated Germany aside from. Uh, you know, Lower Saxony, Westphalia, Hanover, Oldenburg, uh, Schleswig Holstein, and Mecklenburg, and their African colonies. But even then, they're losing against uh, other European powers who are just now bringing forces to the fray. However, the war is not over by any stretch of the imagination. The Ottoman Turks are still fighting there, and the, you know, the, imp the Ottoman Empire, and so on. I think Bulgaria is still a part of the Central Powers, and Austria-Hungary is, amazingly enough, surviving longer than Germany is. So, you know, the war's not over, and I guess that's really not even the focus of our concerns here. We are making pretty well off from the war as well, uh, considering we've taken Shandong from the uh, Germans, which we are currently industrializing and we plan on turning into our own territory. I have even considered declaring war on one of my Chinese neighbors. Uh, I don't really know which one though. I might declare, I mean, we could probably get away with Feng China. Because their army is smaller. It's not as big as the main gist of that. The concern I do have though is our economy is really hit hard and our military is non-existent as you can see with negative 75 percent arms bonus so basically take whatever my attack or my defense is and take away 75 percent and that's about what you got it's really bad really really bad and we have one percent supply level um, so yes we aren't exactly in a position to fight a war however my hope and desire would be that Feng China wouldn't attack until we're able to get uh, actually, you know, set up to fight them. So you know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch over from my heavy industrialization. I'm going to turn Pei Ping uh, into a goods producer to try to get some of our supply back. Uh, we'll go ahead and industrialize that just a bit more uh, there. And what is the city? Shangxi? Xi, Shangxi. I don't know. <laughs> I took two years of Chinese, so you'd think I could pronounce the names, but, you know, even I stumble now and again. But let's focus on how we're going to do this. Uh, let's see, we're slowly getting our IPUs back, which we are getting from the goods production we have going on there. Um, hmm. Our armies are not going to be advanced, so whatever we end up doing is not going to be great. Let's see. I don't know. I'm really basing this off of Germany, like how fat, how long they can hold out against the French. Because if they can hold out longer, that's just one more time that I can do my thing. But the French just took Cilicia. And they're about to take Schleswig Holstein. I know that because the Germans are just. The Ger See, the crazy thing about this is the Germans could probably steamroll the French army if they would concentrate on one position, but they're not. So that's what we have here is we have a major army in the split second uh, defending Lower Saxony. If that army would move north to Schleswig Holstein, they would beat the French army that's currently invading there, including the Chechens and the United Kingdom. They would just have to leave like the 300th army uh, to protect that area. And even look, look at the 29th, the 29th gigantic powerful army that could take down anything the French are deploying against them on the western front, but they're just not. And, you know, that's kind of one of the things that, ha oh, Ireland declared war on us. Interesting. Why would they do that? They won't win that fight. Maybe in the short
short term they might, but at the moment the UK is able to bring the armored cars to bear, that was already over. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to go on for very long. It's not going to really have much of an effect. Anyway, that is what I'm saying. The Germans have the capability to at least hold off the French invasion or reconquer Berlin at least because that is their, their whole power base is Berlin and they don't have it anymore. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's an interesting, interesting question uh, as to what's going to happen. But, I mean, I think it's pretty straightforward that Germany is going to lose. Uh, that particular war a lot worse than it lost it in real life but that's not really a concern is it? what is it that's really advanced cities that we have here in China with 73 we actually have more industrial output than the largest province in China and we have far more than Feng China so what we could do oh, it's that one turn it's just, it, it, it's just Let's go ahead and pop that into arms. Let's start getting some of our arms back. Arabia has declared war on the Central Powers, and Russia has sent an alliance treaty to Arabia. France declined it. Of course they did. Whatever, France. Whatever. You're getting all high and mighty on your, on your, your, your horse there because you're, cause you're kicking Germany's ass. Ireland has surrendered to the United Kingdom. Well, that didn't take long at all. <laughs> so, poor Ireland, I guess. Don't, can't say I didn't warn him, right? Can't say I didn't uh, say he wasn't going to go well for him. So let's go ahead and let's see. We're going to pop out Lancers, I think. We need more of attack. We're going to focus on that. Seems like industrialized to basic industrial levels. Or at least a heavy industry, anyway. Right, so we've got heavy industry, still expanding, and uh, young cow. Young Germany has retaken Posen, and see, now Germany is on its last leg. So, this is pretty much the time. Aside from Africa, they still have a little bit in Africa. But this is the part now where we need to declare war on Feng Shui if we are going to have a chance of, you know, staying in this alliance and kind of getting Feng China to team up with Germany in this case. Um, something else I didn't think about, though, is I wonder how. Uh, Jiang China would actually react to us declaring war on these guys. Hmm. Who cares? Let's find out, shall we? France left our alliance. United Kingdom left our alliance. They went to form the Entente. Interesting. So it looks like we've created our own little mini alliance. Well, not mini. We're actually... Oh, wow. Our power level is equal to theirs. So we have just created a new power block. Oh yeah, that's right. And the world is not happy. Oh. <laughs> As they just take us back. So it's like they didn't approve of our actions, but they're like, eh, whatever. Whatever you do, man. So, let's get our Lancers. I think I'm going to leave the Lancers there. They have a 9 attack. And what we're going to do is we're going to attack there. Get that coal. But, we do need to get our economy under control. But I need a bigger army. So. See, this is kind of what you run into with the game. It's balancing all these different things, figuring out what's the best plan of action, uh, how to, you know, what to do, how to do what you need to do. And it's, I don't know, I guess that's any strategy game, really. But this one in particular kind of makes you think, like, what would be the best plan of action? How can I manage these limited resources to take over another country and it's more so relying on them to be passive to not come charging in headlong because right now if they go for me I'm pretty much I, I might lose they have a little bit more troops than me um, and yeah I, I definitely can't take them on head to head right this moment but my army is getting big and my army is getting big fast so hopefully we'll be able to bring them down I wish I had one. I just I wish I had control of this. Seed, seed your territory to Germany. And of course, the my greater ally power brothers are going to want to bring them down all together before they'll let them surrender. Hmm. Bummer, real big bummer. That's okay. We're just going to keep building up our army of lances here in Young China.
in Hebei province. I think I probably want to have at least about six. The Germans are retaking their land. See, that's something else. These are partisans. These aren't even like major like armies fighting. These are just partisans just coming up and retaking provinces bit by bit. So they're just going to lose on, on these limited amount of turns. But I guess that's what happens. Oh, it looks like Austria-Hungary has lost. They have been divided into large sections of land. Romania came out really well from this war. Very well indeed. Lots of resources there. They even got this... They got Lula, Galicia. And new countries have been formed in Europe. The Western Europeans don't like me. Russia loves me, though. That's always good. It's always good to have Russia on your side. And, you know, UK may be a problem later on in the game. We'll find out. Poor Feng China, all alone. I hope none of the other Chinese countries get involved. Should they, then we would actually run into a serious, you know, problem. But, you know, I don't think any of them will. None of them will fall. Plus, they, most of them like me too much anyway, so I doubt they would. As for advancement, you know, it might have been a better idea to declare war on Zhang China. But then again, Russia would have sent troops in, and that's what I don't want. I don't want them to have any of that land. I don't want that all to be mine. Uh, because, you know, being Chinese, I'm the only one who actually, aside from the other Chinese cultures, of course, I'm the only one who actually has the culture and the full ability to utilize that area effectively. Whereas everybody else will fail in that regard. So... Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to get... I'm going to go ahead and start building troops here, too. Actually, no, I need to start building arms. We were out of arms. So I think three terms worth of arms should... We've almost got a supply level up back to 100%. It's at 75, 77. Let's just build up a decent supply of them to make sure that we've got enough arms to hopefully last us this engagement. And one more should be enough. Okay, so now we've got 72 attack worth of Lancers. Uh, so that's 8 divisions of Lancers. I think that should be enough to take Henan. Let's move in and find out, shall we? Take 2 turns to get there. Uh, let's start building uh, Yongku. I guess let's, we'll actually build mounted infantry. With these mountains um, in China and the lack of development, Oh, it looks like Fin China actually joined the Central Powers. Because now I'm actually marching on them. But with China, with a country like this, you a uh, larger country, there's a lot less developed roads and whatnot. So it's, honestly, I prefer having... Um, Bulgaria surrendered. Interesting. I prefer having mounted troops, tanks, so on and so forth. You know, things that can actually traverse... Uh, the expanse quickly rather than having what the hell's going on here resource shortages what am I short on what do I need for mounted infantry nothing do we not have MPUs here we've got 4,000 hmm strange whatever no of mine let's build some basic infantry just to have some sort of defense uh oh oh my Oh my, USSR has been established and joined forces with the Ottoman Empire. Interesting choice. I don't know how well the USSR is going to do this early on. It might actually be defeated by the Russians. The Russians tend to actually have a surprising number of men on the Eastern Front. And with the assistance from the Western European powers, I don't think there's much chance of them succeeding. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. And this is my making history playthrough of Yan China. And we just went through 50 turns, so I think this is a... Actually, it might have been 70 turns. I don't know. But I think this is a good place to stop for now. And uh, we'll pick up next time with Yan China. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we win. It's not looking very good in the Hinan province right now. But we are, we've already lost two divisions and we haven't killed one yet. So we'll find out. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.